So let's dive right into how we've created this image. Um, particles has been optimized for painting, as, we, as I've said. So, uh, well, how does this, how does this work out? Well, we've got these icons across the bottom, which are all big and touch, uh, touchy feely, and easy to manipulate. And uh, that's, that gives you access to all these wonderful drawing tools. We also have our more traditional browser, which has been uh, optimized to work. Um, a little more uh, friendly than it did in Howler. It's uh, you can you can use larger icons if you want to, and uh, the, the buttons are bigger and that sort of thing. But uh, more more than that, we 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 are big fans of color. We love color here, and uh, it, it just as important as the drawing tools are. Uh, we we love uh, traditional media. We love just getting in the paint mediums and, and smearing them around and modeling them, and and uh, mixing different colors and uh, all that so we've really spent a lot of time in particle uh, developing the idea of themes and color uh, the color tools that are in here um, in Howler we had some uh, some basic about 10 years ago we introduced the idea of uh, uh, analogous, analogous color and uh, complementary color mixing which you can see at the bottom of this panel um, but uh, since then, the uh, the whole uh, notion of themes, color themes, has really exploded into almost a, a, an industry by itself or a big, a large community. And we wanted to honor that and explore that by uh, ex extending our, our theme support in Particle. Um, we did have themes uh, back then. Ten years ago, we added the uh, – we introduced the notion of uh, what we call pigment profiles at the time, the idea being that really any – artists would work not from a, a palette of millions of colors but from a small palette of maybe six or eight colors um and he would say have the primary colors red green and blue or red yellow and blue excuse me uh as artists tend to work with yellow red yellow and blue and we had that capability as well uh, mixing in in those colors instead of the, the more computer centric red green and blue uh um color models but uh as I was saying, an artist would usually just work from a few different uh, mediums, a few different pigments. Uh, you might have some cadmium yellow, some uh, some uh, ultramarine, and a few others. You, or you might have a one set of primaries in warm uh, tones and one set of primaries in cool tones. So uh, what we've made it possible to do was the program can actually take the entire color model inside the program and remap it in such a way that's consistent with these uh, natural media what we call art store colors um and they became a sort of a, an early attempt at color themes and we've really expanded that now so it is really a color theme uh centric program um and it's been integrated into the color picker as you can see here um and it's really simple to set up it's just a matter of drag and drop and you have these these little entries that you can uh, drop onto and this really this is how you remap your your color model um, as you can see we have the red the typical red green and blue which is typical on the computer displays and the the the, uh, the secondary colors of yellow cy cyan magenta and yellow um, and that's great if you're working on a computer uh, and you you don't really you're not worried about creating naturalistic artwork but we that is exa exactly what we are concerned with so uh, one thing you'll notice here is complementary colors are really not what you would expect uh, if you're a traditional artist. Like yellow and blue is not really complementary. Yellow and purple is uh, really more what you would expect to see on a, an artist's color wheel. So we can actually remap that. Let's, um, we have a list of pigment colors here, which are based on uh, real-world pigments. And uh, I'm going to find some ultramarine in here and drag and drop that over there and this is a uh, actually the uh, the screen capture I'm using right right now is disabling the uh, the visualization of this drag and drop but it is happening um, and you'll just have to take my word for it this is uh, this is just an issue with the screen capture don't don't worry about it you can't actually see these being drag and drop and uh, let's see we're gonna take some yellow some cad yellow deep drop it there and Let's see, we want our complementary color to be a purple color. I'll say this indigo would be about right. And uh, some Venetian red would be nice, actually, there, too. Or maybe some rose matter. Let's use rose matter and see how that works out. All right, so we have our red and purple. We know we want, we want those to be complementary. So we'll go ahead and uh, finish off the rest of this color wheel with some other nice pigments.
and we'll put a little blue in there and some green in there to finish off our palette. If I were uh, doing some watercolor, I'd work exactly the same way. I'd pick out the set of uh, pigments that I want to use, and I'd start with a basic palette using these colors. And I'd probably have a green in there. I probably Actually, if I was using watercolors, I probably wouldn't even have a green in there. I'd probably have uh, some... I'd have a cool, a cool blue and a warm blue, so probably ultramarine and phthalo blue. So I'm, I'd probably have something like that. But I'll go ahead and drop a green in there for now, and that will be our palette. Let me click OK to that, and as you can see here, we need, we now have. If I pick an orange, uh, you can now see that directly on the opposite side of our color wheel, we have purple or this, uh, this rose matter is now our complementary color. So we can set up these custom uh, color worlds, if you want to call them that, um, that uh, that are more consistent with traditional painting. It's something we really believe in, uh, that you need to get your colors right when you're painting, not just um, your painting tools. If you want to get that real natural media, that real artist, <laughs> if you really want to bring out that inner artist, that, that uh, Renaissance painter, if you want to call it that, uh, and this is something we've really explored explored with uh, Particle 9. Uh, new product coming out this spring. And I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, lots more to come soon. So keep an eye out on the PD Howler channel on YouTube with Philip Steger, who does, uh, who's done more than four, 500 uh, tutorials on Howler and other products. And um, join me also on SquirrelDome.com. That's my personal website where we sell Howler and some other products. And uh, thanks again for watching and talk to you later.